Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So Stephanie has an email and she says, hey, what are the signs that my mom can be weaned off the ventilator? She's in ICU with a pneumonia and she's got a pneumothorax as well. So Stephanie, there are several signs uh, to look for before someone can be weaned off the ventilator. You ha haven't actually shared whether your mom is ventilated with a breathing tube or in their mouth or with a tracheostomy in their throat. You haven't actually shared that, but let's just assume she's ventilated with a breathing tube in her mouth uh, to begin with. Now, before I go into the details, like the video and share the video with your friends and families if you find value it, in it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for updates, for regular updates for families in intensive care. Now, let's dive right into it. So, your mom needs to be off sedation. Assuming she was in an induced coma for the breathing tube, she needs to be off sedation and off opiates or pain medicine completely. She needs to be awake. She needs to be able to follow simple commands such as poke out her tongue, squeeze your hands, wiggle your toes, simple stuff like that. Next, she needs to have a good, strong cough because once the breathing tube is out, if she can't cough, she can't protect her airway. That's number two. Number three, she needs to have good arterial blood gases, good PO2 oxygen levels in the blood and good PCO2, good uh, carbon dioxide levels in the blood. So to make sure that the gas exchange in the lungs is actually working. Next, on the ventilator itself, she needs to breathe in CPAP or pressure support with minimal PEEP, PEEP of five, minimal pressure support, usually 10 or less, probably eight or less is even better. And her tidal volumes need to be good. You know, they need to be adequate to her weight, seven to 10 mils per kilo, which means for simplicity, if someone weighs 80 kilo, they need to breathe roughly around seven to 800 mils per breath. Okay. So, and FiO2, oxygen that she's getting through the ventilator needs to be below 30 to 35 as well. Now, those are the signs in a nutshell. She needs to be able to sit up again, cough, then go once the breathing tube is out. She needs to be um, able to cough, as I said, sit up, get out of bed, get mobilized, you know, assuming she doesn't have any fractures. Now, you mentioned with your mom's situation that she has a pneumothorax, she will have a chest strain for that. Now, that shouldn't stop her from getting extubated. Um, you know, if she's otherwise ready, you got to look for the drainage of the of the chest strain. Is there is there any blood coming out or any other fluids, or is there nothing coming out at all? Which is obviously a good sign. If your mom has a tracheostomy, pretty much the same applies, with the difference that, you know, with a tracheostomy, um, you can go back and forth from the ventilator and off the ventilator. It's very easy with a tracheostomy. You can switch between ventilation and the tracky mask or tracky shield okay and it's actually a much easier process and you have more time there's less room for error really you know um, you can assess can someone cough can they clear their own airway but it's often also a longer process sometimes you might, may have to uh, downsize the tracheostomy first before you can um, before you can actually remove it but i'll make a separate video about that at another day uh, that is my quick tip for today if you have a loved one in intensive care, go to intensivecarehotline.com, call us on one of the numbers on the top of the website, or send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Check out our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org. We also offer medical record reviews for your loved ones in intensive care, either while they are in intensive care or after they've been in intensive care to answer your questions and making sure the intensive care team is telling you the full story most of the time they're not telling you the full story and uh, we can help you with getting down to the nitty and gritty and making you really help understand what is actually happening in intensive care without leaving important details out again like the video comment below what you want to see next subscribe to my youtube channel click the notification bell share this video with your friends and families this is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I will talk to you in a few days. Take care.